Welcome back. Well, it is Baby Shower Week here on Local 5 Live because someone has a little one <gasps> on me. the way. And we are starting <laughs> with tips to get pictures of your growing belly and growing family. Jason Pam Enter is our trend tester. He is the owner of J Dog Studios. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks well, for Well, I have worked with Jason for a long time, and, and the tips and the advice that you have offered to us through the years have really been beneficial. So, starting with somebody who is expecting, what would you advise them to do when they're kind of scouting out that photography session? Well, basically, you want to be able to get an idea as far as the type of stuff that you're looking to have. I mean, there's a lot of different options as far as maternity pictures uh, you've got studio photography which is a little bit more working with lighting and everything uh, to get shadows falling in the right spots and everything like that you've got outdoor photography and then you also have more of a lifestyle look so if somebody wants to get something done at their home where they feel a little bit more comfortable it's certainly a, an option on that end so yep. the game plan is basically that you want to kind of look at different photographers portfolios find the photographer that fits the style that you're looking for and go from there so you have options to choose from. One of those also is uh, neutral. Tell us about that. You know, something that uh, just shows more uh, of the belly here, yes, right? Yeah. When you and I about. went recently to the, the botanical garden, I'm not. I'm not a real neutral person. I like color and fabric. And I said, "What should I wear?" And you said, "Neutral." And I was like, <laughs> "Why is that?" Well, and a lot of it depends on the time of the year and the background that we're looking, you know, to work with. And. Uh, uh, when we're looking to do outdoor pictures in the fall, obviously you want to kind of go, you don't want to pull out some bright pinks or sure. anything like that mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the fall colors. You want to do something that kind of complements as far as, you know, yeah. the, the colors and the leaves and everything like that as opposed to something that's totally contrasting and out of place. So, What about building that trust? Because I'll admit there are times where you're like, this is not natural for me. You know, like, like why, do, why is it important to build that trust with a photographer? Well, it's, it's all about developing a comfort level. And uh, you want to work with somebody that you feel comfortable with. Um, just so, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, I guess it's a type of position that you're not typically in on a daily basis. And so you want to make sure that uh, you, have, you have some fun with it anyway. And, and so developing that trust with the photographer definitely helps get that comfort level so that it feels a little bit more natural. And you are loving these pictures. I'm glad right? I listened to you. Well, that's, that. the, that's the thing. Gorgeous. And I love how little Abe was in there too. And he was behind the camera. And of course, incorporating <laughs> other family members, you were talking about that level of comfort too, uh, to get other members of the family involved. That's always important. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when it comes to more of the outdoor stuff and the lifestyle mm -hmm. things. Uh, you know, with the outdoor photography, uh, it's great because you can kind of get that natural environment and everything with doing some of the lifestyle stuff or photography that's based at their home. Mm -hmm. uh, we get an opportunity to kind of work that, uh, that comfortable, more lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, type uh, style into it. So This is about as bearing as I was going to go. A tight shirt in a dark lit room. <laughs> but there are moms out there who want to have that memory of the miracle happening. Talk a little bit about some of those shoots with some of the options we have. Absolutely. And it's all about developing your comfort level. Yeah. Uh, there's different body shapes, different styles that people are looking for. And uh, and there's also different clothing that makes, that complements mm -hmm. uh, that baby bump. So sure. Uh, for a lot of people, we try to go with uh, more of a loose flowing mm -hmm. uh, dress type apparel so that we're able to uh, just kind of mm -hmm. move their hands yeah. around and everything in sure. order to get, uh, you know, the, more focus on the belly. Mm -hmm. And then there's, you know, other times where you want to have somebody with more of a tight fitting shirt and kind of like what you're wearing as far as a blouse around the okay. outside and everything else where it focuses more attention on, on the belly. And even like what you're wearing today, you yeah. know, as far as jewelry and everything, sure. it's definitely nice to have some of that stuff okay. where it kind of complements okay. uh, complements the belly. So you don't have to shy away from any accessories. I'm so glad they put up these babies really quick because in the <laughs> last like literally 10 seconds, we have to talk briefly about once this peanut is here. What's the window of time that you want to see our newborn baby? Usually you want to get in in the first month. Uh, ideally, you want to get in in that first couple of weeks to, okay. you know, 12 days. <laughs> oh, my 12 gosh. Days. Yeah, so they're definitely tiny. They don't have as much uh, ability to fight you as far as <laughs> as far as taking the images. Um, and so you can kind of pose them a little bit more okay. Gumby-like and everything like that. Um, but uh, one of the big things that you do want to kind of keep in mind when you're doing the, uh, the baby photography is you want to make sure you find a photographer that does have... Uh, experience with different lighting sure. styles, and so whether it's window light, whether or not it's okay. whether or not it's studio lights, you want to make sure that you're able to you know cast the shadows in the right spots, focus on the different things as far as like camera equipment. Uh, that's a that's a huge thing. Okay. Uh, I've actually brought one of the pieces of equipment that I oh, typically okay. use. It's it's really great. It's lightweight. It's it's, <laughs> it's easy to use. You know, we get into you know real tight areas and everything sure. like that. I'm just kidding. It's a uh -huh. Cell phone, obviously. Uh -huh. But uh, Check if your photographer is going to shoot <laughs> yeah. on a cell phone. Too. No, I mean you know reason. this is great for some things, but it's not one of those things sure. that you want to use to sure. capture. Uh, you know, a significant part of the yep. baby's life here Makes with the newborn sense. photos. You want to be well, able to have something that you can 
you know, throw a large portrait on the wall and have it really hold True. up well. Thank you for kicking off our Baby Shower Week and for those great pictures. We appreciate okay. it. You bet. Thanks a lot for having me, guys.